My name is Alejo Duque. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are you participating in the workshop or? Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. I've been coming for the last three days. Uh -huh. Since the day one, yeah. I already know some of these devices from mm -hmm. Martin. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm closer to Martin than to Brent and Brandon, uh -huh. but I, I'm happy to meet them. Um, yeah, so I've been here since uh, the first day in the morning. Yeah. And you work as a media artist yourself? Yes, I mean, yeah, I work with these things uh, that are, yeah, we are all in media, so uh -huh. we are all media artists, so to say. I mean, depends on your degree of consciousness of, uh -huh. of how much you are immersed in, the, in media. We, are, we belong to media somehow, we belong to these machines. I mean, it's not that the separation of um, media and not media or whatever. I, I think it's, we lose a lot of energy in that discussion and I think it's, we are completely fucked up by, by technologies. Uh -huh. So, is there also a discussion who is artist and not artist? Is that similar? No, well, that one is another one. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, what distinguishes the artist? What is the specifics of the artistic practice? Which is another one of those impossible questions. But no, no. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's easier to try to say what is a designer or an artist, or that's another question, but. I don't know, the figure of the artist himself, I think is something from maybe the last century, uh -huh. like a hundred years ago or so, a modern, modern notion of uh, art, the, 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 the salon, the artwork, that relation between the author and the work of art, I think is outdated somehow. Uh -huh. um, we still live in that world and economy, of course. But I, I think it should be relevant. I mean, we, we should just like do what we have to do and, and that's it. I mean, not, not try to categorize that as art or not art. That will really spoil the, the whole thing. I just want to follow up a little bit on it. So what, in what sense did it evolve away from the initial artist as genius author towards artwork, salon, style, bourgeoisie model? But it, how is it different now? Well, the economy is... Some, some, some problem of economies, of interest, of, of how you invest your energy into, into what you do. And um, one very common example is to talk about the open source movement and how we are becoming more horizontal, which is not really like that clear or truth, but, but that is really breaking apart the previous model. So when you apply or when you analyze the current state of production, so to say, of media or whatever, um, when you look through the filter of open source and how communities develop the, pro the, pro the process-based um, uh, uh, value uh, becomes very, very relevant. Mm. So this is something that might give us hints to understand what's the economy of today's art. And it's very confusing when you see, confusing when you see young people working very close, but completely thinking and selling themselves through through curators, galleries and shit, mm. you know, it doesn't kind of fit somehow. It's a big contradiction. So it's an ethical yeah. problem at the end. Yeah. Ethical, aesthetical, in a way. Yeah, 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 true. It's always, yeah. They, it's always related. But yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm confused still with the word ethical. I mean, still, e ethos is maybe easier for me because it's my territory, my space, and how uh -huh. we operate in that, and yeah. Uh -huh. So it, it maybe reduces, it scales down the problem to my battleground, my battles in my brain, my idea and my feelings, yeah. Uh -huh. It's difficult to put that in the context of a wider context like transmediali. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, this workshop could be actually prototypical of kind of like artists working with each other instead of kind of like showing something and teaching, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know how much about, uh, I call this uh, experiment here as a workshop yet because for me it's more meeting some kind of friends uh -huh. and, and try to share with them. Even to be just in the same space is enough, you know, not really that we have to do something or uh, have like this objective super clear, but it's more like to, to share the, the kind of energy and vibes and yeah that's uh -huh. that's enough that's enough okay so what is the thing you've been holding in your well, this is a, this is a device that is developed by martin and uh, shintaro mm -hmm. and it's called uh, detectors they have a website for them de detectors and I, I cannot explain it better than them of course but as a user 
Um, mm. I know that it's uh, helping us to um, understand the electromagnetic fields we live in, electromagnetic mm -hmm. fields uh, like radio electric mm -hmm. waves that are mm -hmm. all around us, mm -hmm. are part of our media uh, space. And it sort of reads that or transforms it into, into sound. Uh -huh. Into sound. So it's, it's, that's the way we kind of, we don't sense them with our, with our, with our bodies straight, but through these devices you can listen to them and you can sense them through your ears. So, mm -hmm. so I'm recording something with, with this. It's moving near the, the, the light, changes the sound. Uh -huh. and yeah, but uh, um, yeah, I think, I think this is a, this is a dowsing uh, thing that Martin was uh, proposing to use. And um, that usually traces like energetic waves from water lines. Is that what That's what they say. Yes. Um, I I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. I, I know a little bit more the pendle. Uh -huh. um, but what we did is uh, we put this connector, so we can use it some somehow as an antenna. Uh -huh. um, of course, there's lots of noise that the body is bringing in. The body is an antenna already, anyway. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to connect this and see if we can do some measures. And we can see that in numbers, you know, in this other world, you know, the, the rationalistic, positivistic kind of side. So it's a really nice um, hybrid thing, mm -hmm. you know, like a meeting of two complete opposite trends somehow. It's a, maybe a violent thing for some people to hook these two electricity straight, you know, uh -huh. but maybe not. So I don't know if they, this was, was tested. I guess this was tested already by someone else, but it's already funny to see it. So yeah, uh -huh. let's see, let's see if, it's, if it's working. This, I'm curious about it. Okay, and then, um, in what sense are you then in the end really measuring something external? Because basically you could also come with your setup and with your, as you already said, like you have the bodies influencing the whole thing. You could end up measuring your own measuring environment in a way, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also interested, of course, is how, in what sense, is this workshop touching almost scientific research in terms of, okay, we're trying to measure and somehow represent something, in that case in audio, mm -hmm. but in what sense is it artistic research? So how is the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I cannot talk about any scientific, because I'm not a scientist at all. The only science, science thing I have is this t-shirt, <laughs> nothing else. And uh, so it's really, I'm the wrong one to talk about science. I'm completely immersed into the sounds. Uh -huh. And I'm doing a research in the sound layer yeah. that is for sure part of my uh, streams, sound streams. You know, I do work on, on, on sound composition, even though I'm not a musician, but I'm working with sounds as my ma material. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, sir. certainly as an artist, then yeah. that's my, my, my space now, the sound space. So your yeah. research is basically like your artistic, I don't know, development of yeah. your specific yeah. They call it knowledge, I don't know. Or interest. 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 Yeah. yeah. Is now tied completely and going towards sound. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is perfect because I can collect some, some sounds. All right. I can listen to things I have never listened before because this is exactly what it puts me in the place. I'm really looking for new sounds. Uh -huh. and I mean, sounds that interest my ear, you know, that this is something that I'm that I kind of like hope and go and follow and push and push and push and then I'm collecting some of them with the radio antennas and military satellites and all kinds of transmissions. So mm -hmm. data transmissions, they produce very interesting sounds. So I'm captured by that. Uh -huh. I capture the, them and they capture me. It's like a, yeah. Uh -huh. an addict. Egg. Oh. It's a chicken and egg. Yeah, think, uh, yeah. It's more an addiction. Uh -huh. An addiction? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's more an addiction. Let's see where it leads me, but I think I'm going to be closer to, um, to a production of some sound work in the sense of uh, something I can share with others and I can say, okay, check, listen to these tracks or listen to these recordings or, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is where I think I will be maybe in the next year, yeah. Last question that everyone gets, um, how do you earn your living? <laughs> <laughs> it's not related at all with art, uh -huh. and I will be a very critical um, about everyone who complains about that uh, I need to pay the bills or I need to pay my food. Being an artist, you know, 
and complaining about uh, not having money, I think it makes sense because an artist, you know, in the bohemia kind of whatever way, was always someone who risked, you know, and you're not there on uh, doing your own hobby yeah. or afición a or whatever for the sake of money, you know. You are just doing that precisely when you kind of break that interest and economy and needs. Yeah. So whenever I find these people that are always complaining about, I cannot do this because I need to go to work, I need to pay my bills and blah, blah, blah. I find that completely stupid. You cannot do that. You cannot divide yourself like that. You know, I don't know if it's clear. You have to be brave yeah. enough. If you engage into doing something, you have to just do that thing and not, it's your passion. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it's, 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 it's between a privilege and a passion and addiction in a way. So it's not something you would say, I want money first, otherwise I won't be yeah, exactly. motivated. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But of course, what, what, last question. Well, they um, are my living, still, <laughs> you want, you still want to know. Is I, there a, like, if your artistic practice turns into like income, very little. Is, isn't that the point when you sort of get bored with it because it ends up in repeating, I don't know, successful oh, performances? Or? Yeah, I would love. I I could. I would love. I could answer, but I never been to a level that I earned enough by something I've done done with art related to the art world or whatever that kind of spoils me. No, I I really live in the limit. You know, we, like many, you know, we live in the borderline. I mean, <clears throat> um, but no, I do. I. I do, I do work on things that are <clears throat> not consuming too much of my time, mm -hmm. but that I can have enough money to pay the rent. But I don't do any balance or I don't have any fucking clear account and I don't mm -hmm. want to see it because I prefer to leave the machine running without looking how the machine is operating because it's like a magical and mysterious machine for me. And I prefer, even when I have to see some bills from a month or tickets I paid, I don't want to make the math and I want to make the totals because mm -hmm. I don't want to know from where the money was coming. I don't know how much money. I don't want to see that. Mm -hmm. And many people ask me, even my parents, friends, they ask me because for many of them it's a very big mystery. And I don't have an answer and I prefer not to have it mm -hmm. because it's working so far. I don't want to go and spoil the thing, uh, doing balancing and blah, blah, blah. No way, no way. <laughs> Thank you very much.